Okay, wir haben hier den Lars. We got Lars and uh, Lars, who are you? Please explain. Yeah, my name is Lars Herger and I'm the director for the study promotion organization here in Uppsala region. It's called Studie Fremjandet. What means Studie Fremjandet? Yeah, in, in, in German it means uh, Studienförderung Organisation. But it means not uh, furthering with the money, it means furthering with, uh, with um, other things like uh, encouraging and helping people to come to study, but not study in the traditional way, study in the way of uh, non-formal adult education. You got a lot of study circles it's called. What is a study circle? Yeah, study circles is self-organizing form of studies where you can find a topic or that you are interested in and then you can uh, collect a group around you that are also interested in the same topic or the subject and then you can come to us and ask is there possibilities to get any help with rooms or with uh, other people who can help us and we normally say yes what, what do you need and, and we try to support them and then they study by themselves in groups and uh, we don't care about the result it's a it's a thing for themselves that's the informal part of your study circles and do they have a teacher or some some coach no not really they 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 there is one in the group who has to take the initial uh, leader position but it don't mean that this um, person is more educated in the in the topic than the other but the, so it's really a learning with every experience in the groups of people are uh, coming into the groups uh, learning and um, it means that uh, someone has a different angle in the topics and they through the this uh, um, theme in the, to the discussion and and it means also in the long run that they get a better or more broader view of the topics and maybe if you have only a teacher so they can choose what they want to learn. So this goes a little in the direction of the concept of a third place. Have you heard about third places and about the concept? Yeah, in the way of, of, of uh, um, letting people get the possibilities to, to come and meet without any, any, uh, any further uh, meaning, just to, to have places. We have really try to work with this concept and um, this is also uh, connected with the study circle idea because in these places where you can come you can read a newspaper you can uh, do something on the computer or just sitting there talking to other people they can also develop this interest uh, uh, with people who have the same interest you can find them there and uh, sometimes they develop study circles sometimes they not and it's it, it, it's no need to do it but if they do it they can also bring because the study circles has another um, good thing it's also a social thing you become a member of a group that are doing something for the same goal and for a long time and you got a very important social uh, connection so many people who are uh, more or less lonely in the society in Sweden um, has found some way of contact uh, through the study circles. And how long do the study circles go on and meet? It, it could be very very different. It could be from nine hours, three times, it's very short. Most of these self-organized study circles are much longer because it's like you study in a group that you are finding friends and you do it for my, maybe a year or something like that. And do you have an example for a study circle you like? You like? Yeah, there is many examples. Uh, but it could be people who are interested in something like bird watching or something like that. But maybe there is no expert in bird watching. Some people are just interested in birds. Some people maybe have cats <laughs> and find birds in that way and 
but in the end they bring together someone maybe worked with birds in, in, in a totally other form but all the experience bringing together make it uh, as a very very sensational uh, material what they are doing it, it will never happen with, with a teacher it could never happen no. because no I, I believe that but how do they meet I mean do you have kind of an online uh, network something where they can meet and um, ch exchange their ideas yeah this is new for us also because uh, the tradition of the study circle is that you should meet physically because of the social aspects of it but uh, since also the internet is a kind of social um, activity you're doing together um, we are trying to mix it so uh, it is most important for people who are living in the rural areas where it's not so close to the uh, but we try to mix it so we try to never really give up the meeting as an important thing so we mix it with uh, even if it's a, a distance course we say it's a, we make it also with with uh, physical yeah I think the physical contact is very important so in your where your classrooms are there are always spaces like this we have this wonderful space here in Sudi Fremland at headquarter now where we got our lunch and this is how I imagine a third place because you have a nice couch and you have um, coffee and nice people coming together. Is, is this usual for um, your course rooms as well where your courses take place? Yeah, really, wh where we would really try to do it uh, in, in the best way, this kind of room with couches and nice places to sit, it's important because uh, but we will also do it like if you're sitting in a couch you are um, they are coming under people in the couch behind you and um, it brings some kind of meeting uh, possibility uh, and that's important uh, so we try and you will see tomorrow when we come to uh, a place is called contact and it's in a suburb of uh, Uppsala we have big um, social um, and economical um, problems in this uh, suburb but we have a um, place where it, people can come and meet uh, doing nothing if they like but also get and help with studies and everything they need. And the name is program Kontakten yeah. so we get in contact with yeah, yeah, really, yeah, really. so we are looking forward to tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow. and uh, thank you for the for this nice talk. Thank you very much. Lars <laughs> Heger